All right, let's go ahead and get started with the Zabbix install. The first thing you want to do is go over to zabbix.com slash download. This is where you'll get your Zabbix packages. What you'll need to do is click on Zabbix packages, scroll down and choose your platform. So I'm going to be using Zabbix 6.0 LTS on Ubuntu using the latest version with the server front end and using my SQL with the Apache server. So you want to make sure you have the correct uh, version that you're installing from. Best way to do that is going to your terminal and typing in hostname CTL. So it shows me Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So that's what I'm going to be installing on. Once you pick your correct OS, etc., Zabbix will generate the code needed to do the installation. So if you pick the wrong one, it'll give you the wrong code for your install. So make sure you pick the correct one. So go ahead and copy the first line over. And just paste it into your terminal. This will go ahead and get the files needed to be installed. Let's go to the next one. Oops. Let's go ahead and make sure we do sudo. Some of these installations can take some time, so you'll see me forwarding, fast forwarding uh, the video for you. So that's done. Let's go to the next one. Ask us to do an APT update. This one's going to take a little bit since it's probably going to update a bunch of packages. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, welcome back. The update is done. Let's go ahead on to the next one. Alright, we're going to be installing the front end server agent and the scripts needed to install. Go ahead and copy this over. Go ahead and clear this real quick. Yes. All right, we'll come back. That is done. Let's go ahead to the next step. So we'll be doing installing our MySQL. We could double check to see if we have MySQL installed. Let's see. sudo mysql. So currently we don't have anything installed for SQL, so we should be good. Now let's go ahead install our MySQL since we don't have any in our system right now. We could do this command right here. sudo apt Now let's go ahead and check, make sure our MySQL is working. We could type in MySQL, or sorry, gotta type in there we go. So MySQL is installed successfully. Let's go on to the next step. 
So let's go and quit that and finish the rest. We can also check the status. So we could do sudo service my SQL status. And everything's running. Let's go ahead and clear this. Let's go ahead and continue with our installation. So we create the initial database. Now we'll be doing the following log into MySQL. Back into MySQL. Oh, sorry. How about we do we should just be able to log into MySQL. All right. So once we're in there, we're going to go ahead and run the first command with the SQL. Now let's go next to the next one. We're going to be creating the user and the password. As for the password, This is where you could change it if you want to. I'm going to keep it as password to make it simpler. But you can change it to anything you want to. This would be for the Zabbix user. Next, we can go ahead and grant the privileges to the user. Oops. And go ahead and set this command here. And we could quit. All right, we got everything within the database. Let's go ahead and get this one. Oops. Sorry. This is going to be the password we used, which is password. All right, now that's done. That took me about five minutes for it to, to finish up. So it could take you guys one minute to five minutes or maybe longer, but just wait for it. You know it's done when uh, you see this prompt. So let's double check, make sure we got everything correctly. All right, let's log into my SQL to make sure we have everything installed correctly. Let's do a show databases and we can see Zabbix databases there let's go ahead and use Zabbix all right show tables so it looks like everything is good within the database let's go ahead and go into the next step all right let's Get out of the MySQL. Go ahead and clear this. All right. Let's go ahead and see the next step. Now we're going to go ahead and edit our server config. We're going to set the DB password to password. For me, it is password because I kept it default. Whatever you change to, that's what you're going to be using. So we're going to be VI into, I use VI. You can use v, 
uh, buy or nano. Let's go ahead and tune to that. Oops. Zabbix. Oops, there we go. All right, now we can go ahead and scroll down. Well, with with V I, I push I to do insert. We can go ahead and scroll down and look for the DB password. So there's the DB name right there, Zabbix, so we're getting close, DB user, DB password. I'm going to take out the pound and put in a password. Mine is password. And that's it. Now to save it, I push escape, colon, WQ. And now we could start our Zabbix services. So we could do sudo service Zabbix server start. Now let's check the status. And it looks good. So since everything's running, let's go ahead and clear this. To make sure that when our server restarts, that it's gone, going to the service itself is going to restart once it boots up, we can go ahead and run these commands. Actually, this one first to enable the services to start at startup. Let's go ahead and restart Zabbix services. All right. All right, now it's time to configure the Zabbix front end. So we can go to, it should start up with your host slash Zabbix. So whatever your IP is, let's go ahead and find out what my IP is. So my IP is right here, 123. So what we want to do is type in our host, host name, IP, and Zabbix at the end. All right, let's go ahead and finish everything up. We have our front page of Zabbix. So we're almost there. Go to the next step. Everything checks out good. Everything's okay. Green light. Next step. And this is the password to use. Mine was password. Go ahead and close that. All right, for the server name, name whatever you want to name it. I'll call it Apex SLT dot. Zabbix.com. You could do, change your time zone, whatever theme you want. I like blue. Click next. Pre-install summary. Click next. And that is it. Click finish. Now you're prompted 
for your login. The first login is admin with the capital A. Password is Zabbix, all lowercase. The A B B I X. Your Zabbix is ins installed. One of the first things you want to do is change your admin password or create the new new users. So the best way to, to change your user to be safe is go to administration, users, your admin right here, click on admin, change your password. on update and that is it well hopefully this Zapix installation was easy and helpful if it is helpful please uh, don't forget to subscribe we'll be doing more Zapix installations well not sorry not installations but configuration and how to use Zapix in your environment Thanks for viewing this tutorial. If this was helpful, please help us out and subscribe. Um, leave your comments if you have any questions or issues. We'll try to help you guys out with our replies. Again, thank you.